Built between 1712 and 1732, the Long Room at Trinity College's Old Library in Dublin is one of the most iconic and historic libraries in the world. This grand space houses the collection's 200,000 oldest books, showcasing centuries of knowledge and literary heritage. The Long Room's towering shelves, vaulted ceiling, and rows of marble busts of great philosophers and writers add to its awe-inspiring atmosphere, making it a must-see destination for those captivated by history, literature, and architecture. The remains of the ancient Roman city in Verona, located near Porta Leone, offer a fascinating glimpse into the city's rich historical past. Beneath the modern road, you can see sections of the original Roman streets, walls, and building foundations. This area once marked the entrance to the Roman city, with Porta Leone serving as a gateway. These well-preserved ruins reflect Verona's importance in the Roman Empire and allow visitors to explore the layers of history that lie beneath the bustling modern streets. An ancient Mesolithic amber bear, estimated to be around 10,000 years old, was discovered washed up on the coast of Fano in Denmark. This tiny, intricately carved bear, made from amber, provides a remarkable link to the distant past, offering insight into the artistic expressions of early human societies. Amber, often associated with Northern Europe, held significant cultural and symbolic value, making this find particularly noteworthy. The bear's survival across millennia adds to its mystique as a rare and precious artifact of the Mesolithic era. The oldest known mirror in the world, discovered in Anatolia, Turkey, dates back to prehistoric times. Made of obsidian, a form of volcanic glass, this ancient mirror features a convex surface and boasts remarkably good optical quality. The use of obsidian for reflective purposes highlights the ingenuity of early civilizations, as they transformed this naturally occurring material into practical and symbolic objects. This mirror not only reflects the image of its users, but also offers a glimpse into the technological advancements of ancient societies in Anatolia. A stunning pair of Victorian reverse-painted crystal intaglio earrings, dating back to 1870, showcases the intricate craftsmanship of the era. These earrings feature crystal surfaces, delicately engraved from the reverse side to create a detailed, three-dimensional effect. Often depicting animals, floral motifs, or classical scenes, reverse-painted intaglios were highly prized for their uniqueness and artistry. The Victorian era's fascination with symbolism and personalized jewelry is reflected in these finely crafted pieces, making them a treasured relic of 19th century design. The faience beadnet dress from ancient Egypt, dating to the Old Kingdom during the reign of Pharaoh Khufu, 2551 to 2528 BC, is a remarkable example of early Egyptian craftsmanship. This intricately woven garment is made of faience, a glazed ceramic material prized for its lustrous, bright colors. The beadnet dress would have been worn by an elite woman, draping her body in a sophisticated pattern of blue and green beads. It not only served as a decorative garment, but also held symbolic significance, representing beauty, protection, and status in ancient Egyptian culture. The Neolithic pig-shaped pot, dating back approximately 6,000 years, is a fascinating artifact housed in the Jiangsu Provincial Museum's pottery and porcelain gallery in Nanjing. This ancient piece exemplifies the creativity and skill of early Chinese potters. Shaped like a pig, the pot not only served a practical purpose but also likely held symbolic significance, possibly related to fertility or agriculture, as pigs were important in early Neolithic societies. Its unique design offers a glimpse into the daily life and cultural beliefs of the people during this early period of human history. One of the most captivating features of Timgad, the ancient Roman city in modern-day Algeria, is the visible tracks left by Roman chariots. These grooves, carved into the stone streets after centuries of use, serve as a vivid reminder of the bustling activity that once filled the city. The deep ruts offer a tangible connection to the Roman Empire's impressive infrastructure and daily life, highlighting the importance of Timgad as a vibrant hub of commerce and transportation in its heyday. These enduring marks reflect the city's remarkable history and legacy. The golden cicada on a jade leaf from the Ming Dynasty, 1368 to 1644, 
is a remarkable example of ancient Chinese craftsmanship. Discovered in a tomb in 1954, this exquisite piece served as the top of a hairpin, symbolizing the high status of the woman to whom it belonged. The cicada, often a symbol of renewal and immortality in Chinese culture, is intricately sculpted in gold, resting delicately on a finely carved jade leaf. This artifact reflects the exceptional artistry and cultural symbolism of the Ming Dynasty's elite society. The Neanderthal flute, discovered in Slovenia, is the oldest known musical instrument dating back around 50,000 years. Made from the bone of a cave bear, it features strategically placed holes, indicating it was used to create musical sounds. This remarkable find offers a glimpse into the creativity and cultural practices of Neanderthals, suggesting they had the ability to produce melodies and engage in early forms of musical expression. It stands as a profound symbol of early human ingenuity. The ancient glazed tiles from the processional way of the Ishtar Gate, leading to the city of Babylon, were built by King Nebuchadnezzar in 575 BC. This grand roadway was lined with 60 lions on both sides, each crafted from 46 molded bricks arranged in 11 rows. The lions symbolized the goddess Ishtar, embodying strength and protection. This magnificent entryway served not only as a protective structure, but also as a monumental display of Babylonian artistry and power, a true wonder of ancient Mesopotamian architecture. The Roman mosaic at the House of the Tetra style in Pola Archaeological Park, Nora, Sardinia, Italy, dates back to the second century AD. This intricate artwork is a stunning example of Roman craftsmanship featuring geometric patterns and depictions of mythological scenes. Nora, once a thriving Roman settlement, is home to many well-preserved archaeological treasures, and this mosaic stands out as a beautiful reminder of the ancient city's cultural and artistic legacy. A 1st century AD Roman mosaic from Santa Maria Capua Vetter, Italy, features vibrant imagery of parrots, a dove drinking from a fountain, and a lurking cat. This mosaic beautifully captures the detailed artistry of Roman times, showcasing natural scenes with symbolic meaning. The depiction of animals and nature reflects Roman appreciation for the natural world, while also offering insight into the decorative elements that adorned Roman homes and public spaces. Grafarkirkja is the oldest surviving turf church in Iceland, located near the town of Hofsos. Dating back to the 17th century, it is a remarkable example of traditional Icelandic architecture, with its wooden frame covered by layers of turf for insulation against the harsh climate. The church's simple, rustic design blends harmoniously with the surrounding landscape, reflecting Iceland's historical reliance on natural materials. Grafarkirkja stands as a symbol of the country's cultural heritage and craftsmanship. The medieval architectural complex of Dargavs, located in the Republic of North Ossetia-Lania, Russia, is an extraordinary and mysterious site often referred to as the City of the Dead. Nestled in a remote valley surrounded by stunning mountain scenery, this necropolis consists of around 100 stone crypts, some dating back to the 12th century. The unique structures, built into the hillside, are believed to be family tombs where the deceased were laid to rest, sometimes alongside their belongings. Dargavs is not only architecturally fascinating, but also rich in history and folklore. Despite its eerie reputation, it remains a powerful reminder of the ancient customs and spiritual beliefs of the Ossetian people, offering insight into medieval burial practices in the Caucasus region. Despite its historical and cultural significance, Dargavs remains relatively unknown, deserving more recognition for its architectural and archaeological value. This miniature book, Featuring the poem Wander's Tab, meaning travel staff, holds a special place in royal history. It was a heartfelt gift from Queen Elizabeth of Romania, also known by her literary pseudonym Carmen Silva, to her niece Princess Maria of Edinburgh. Queen Elizabeth was not only a monarch but also a prolific writer and poet, and this small book exemplifies her creative spirit. Princess Maria of Edinburgh, later known as Queen Marie of Romania, was deeply influenced by her aunt both in matters of state and in her artistic leanings. The exchange of such a meaningful gift reflects the close bond between the two royal women, 
as well as the literary and cultural connections within European royalty during that era. The Stone Bridge of Manolis spans the Agrifiotis River in Greece and is a remarkable example of traditional architecture. Most of the year, this historic bridge remains submerged, with only a portion of its arch occasionally visible. However, during the summer months, when water levels drop, the entire structure emerges, revealing its impressive stonework and engineering. This unique feature makes the bridge a fascinating sight, highlighting the interplay between nature and human craftsmanship in the region. Its partially submerged state adds to the mystique and allure of the site, attracting visitors interested in both history and natural beauty. This exquisite miniature chariot, meticulously crafted from gold, exemplifies the remarkable artistry of the Achaemenid Persian Empire. Its intricate design showcases the exceptional craftsmanship and attention to detail characteristic of this ancient civilization. Such artifacts not only highlight the aesthetic values of the time, but also reflect the cultural significance of chariots in Persian society, symbolizing power, prestige, and the advanced metallurgical skills of the era. This miniature serves as a captivating representation of Achaemenid artistry allowing us to appreciate the rich heritage of one of history's great empires. The Roman ship known as de Mirne I was discovered in Veldhuizen, the Netherlands, in 1997. This archaeological find is significant as it dates back to the early Roman Empire, providing valuable insights into maritime practices and trade routes of that period. The ship's remains offer a glimpse into the construction techniques and daily life of those who navigated the waters during ancient times. The discovery of de Mirne I has contributed to our understanding of the Roman presence in the region and the broader context of Roman naval history. This tiny boxwood pea pod, measuring just 10 centimeters, was intricately carved around 1500 by a North German artist. The whimsical piece opens to reveal little carved peas, which in turn open to display 10 small scenes from the Book of Genesis. This remarkable work exemplifies the skill of Renaissance artisans and serves as a unique example of narrative art from that period. 